Hi, if you use Raspberry Pi 5 for anything more than browsing the internet, for example gaming or robotics, you probably need something faster than an SD card, which is SSD. You have two options, you can either plug uh, SSD inside a USB case and use it with USB, or now with a Raspberry Pi 5, you can use something like this NVMe base and plug it in and plug it inside together with a PCIe cable. Now, which option is fastest and has uh, better latency? Uh, so I installed uh, Ubuntu 24 on Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, this SD card got around 100 megabytes for read and 20 megabytes for write. Uh, the USB uh, external case got around 350 for read and 300 for uh, write. And this PCIe, normally, if you just plug it in, got around 450 for read, 400 for write, but then you can enable PCIe 3 and double that. So around now 900 for reading. Now, uh, this uh, PCIe uh, extension board has one uh, big um, selling point, which is if you just used this uh, external USB case, uh, you don't get uh, some extra information. Uh, this modern SSDs has temperature sensor and all sorts of diagnostics called smart. And if you do sudo apt install smart mode tools, uh, you can access that, but you don't get it with a USB external case, which is not transmitted through USB. But when you use uh, this PCIe uh, head, you get it. And one thing uh, that's really important is that, for example, when I was gaming in my previous video, uh, this SSD inside the USB case got really hot. So I had to use uh, a passive cooler here and still it got like 60 or 70 degrees. That's really hot. And with this NVMe, you can you can get temperature. And I think because it's not using USB, it's also a little bit uh, cooler. Also, this this is the Samsung, I think like uh, 970 Evo Plus, and it has theoretical or also practical if you have compatible motherboard speeds of 3,000 megabytes per second, which is totally much more than what you get when you use USB case or PCIe uh, extension board. So you probably don't have to buy super, super modern uh, SSDs. Also, for example, here on Jetson, I have uh, Gen 4 PCIe, which also even this Jetson doesn't support. It only supports uh, Gen 3. So you don't have to buy a super, super modern uh, SSD if you use it with a Raspberry by five. So that's all and thank you for watching.